thank everyone for coming here today. Uh, just in case you don't know, uh, my name is Sean Imakushi. I'm the membership and marketing director with the Meadville Family YMCA. It's a very special day for us, uh, a project that has been uh, really a couple of years in the making. Uh, obviously, we are here today at St. Philip's Catholic Church for the ribbon cutting of our new Linesville child care facility. So uh, again, this is a day that has been coming for a while. <coughs> Many people, staff, volunteers, community partners have been behind the Meadville Family YMCA to support us and this community throughout this endeavor. And we're just really excited to be here today to cut the ribbon on it. And again, for the site to officially open on Monday, September the 20th. So I just wanna single out a handful of people that were extremely integral to us getting this child care facility opened up in Linesville. First and foremost, I want to thank Father Chris Hamlet and St. Philip's Catholic Church leadership, because obviously we were working with them for this great facility. Couldn't really have picked a better one. I want to thank Brian Baer for his help throughout this whole process. John Thompson and the MFG Foundation, without their financial support, this would not have gotten off the ground. So thank you guys very much for that. Uh, Marquette Savings Bank. Uh, our CEO, Tina Carter, who unfortunately is a little under the weather, so she couldn't be here today, but she is watching from home on Facebook. And uh, I'll just go say hi, Tina. Um, and uh, she really wanted to be here today, but unfortunately she just couldn't make it out. So this is really, you know, something that she really was uh, enthused about, and she was part of the brainchild behind this. So big thanks to her. And of course, we want to thank the new staff for getting all the finishing touches done on this facility over this last handful of weeks. They've done an amazing job. Heather Burroughs is our director out here, so she's going to do a wonderful job once things start up on Monday. Also want to thank Stacy Hyatt, Melissa uh, McIntosh, others um, for our current child care directors. They've had a, such an amazing program going throughout all the years here in the Meadville area, so it's just really a testament to them and their time and energy that they put in that we are able to expand our child care program outside of Meadville city walls. So really congratulations, Stacy and the whole child care team. It's really, really good. Um, and finally, want to thank our board of directors, Jared Rimmels here with us. We want to thank them for their support and uh, their support for the outlying communities here in the greater Crawford area. So uh, the board has been a great help to us, guiding us uh, to certain points throughout to see what we can do best for um, the Crawford community. So I do have one person that I'd like to bring up to, to say a few words, and that's going to be John Thompson from uh, MFG Trey and the MFG Foundation. So John, come on up and say a few words, and then we'll get we'll get going on the ribbon cutting. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Thompson. I'm the president, general manager of Molded Fiberglass Trey Company. I'm also senior vice president of the Molded Fiberglass Corporation. Uh, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here today. Uh, we've talked throughout this community of, of making a project like this happen uh, for several years. And uh, I want to recognize Brian Bear for his efforts to kind of coordinate that. Community leaders are bringing them together uh, to make something like this happen. But it's always been a fundamental principle of the molded fiberglass companies to, to give back to the communities we operate in. Uh, and Linesville, uh, we've been here quite a while. And for those who've been around, uh, know us very well. Uh, we've been here almost 70 years operating in the Linesville area. And we are thrilled to be here today for the ribbon cutting, for this opportunity and this service in our community, for the families, the parents, the children, and even the grandchildren, for some of us, <laughs> for the kids in our community. And we're so excited and, uh, and pleased to have this donation to give and looking forward to great things uh, that's going to come out of this uh, for our kids. So thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck, crew. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.